Okay, right, so let's just move that there. Let's take our mashed beans and we're now going to take the sauce that we've just cooked through. Nicely hot. Oh, I see it the other way around, so I can't do it bloody right and left handed. Um, not there's anything wrong with left handed people. Oh, fact, in my time, we should have had them tied beyond their bloody back, man, right, right. Um, didn't really mean that, that's just a joke, all right? Going to be disappointed. Um, so, <coughs> let's stir in the sauce, all right? Just give me so uh, stew a quick sauce, my last uh, flatbreads there. So, we mix that in. I must admit, it's not the most appetising of looking things, is it? Mashed beans with this sauce in it. But who knows what it might taste like. I'll taste it a bit. Um, so, there we go. There's our mashed beans. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put that in a little side dish. Like I said, it's not something necessarily that Romans would necessarily have. With their meal, right? Let me just taste it for you. Mm. Got a bit kick to it. And to be honest, don't really notice the beans in it. And I'm here. And there is the last of our fat flatbreads. Turn that off. Put that on there. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to serve up some oh, that sauce after a while. Itch you there. That's the pepper in it. So, we're going to put the stew into a bowl. Sprinkle on a little bit of parsley. Whee! Stay there. And there you have a Roman beef capardia, beef stew, with fava beans and authentic flatbread. All according to authentic Roman recipe. And well done, there's no meat in this bit. Let's just see what the sauce is like. Very nice.